Farmers are the backbone of America, producing the food, clothing, and fuel on which we depend every day. However, because of growing populations, farmers now need to produce more with less. Less water, less energy, and less land. This requires the adoption of new technologies. To stay in business and remain profitable, farmers must be sure that the investment is wise and that it will pay for itself quickly. By utilizing drip irrigation, farmers can use less and produce more. For over 40 years, drip has worked for many different crops all over the world. And since crop yields and quality usually go up while expenses go down, payback is quick. It's become an investment that's helped farmers meet regulations and stay in business, not only for today, but for generations to come. Drip irrigation is the most efficient way to irrigate because water is applied directly to the soil and plant roots with little waste to groundwater, wind, evaporation, or runoff. This is different from flood or sprinkler irrigation, which can waste half of what is applied. Basically, the savings on your water. You save a lot of water and, and produce uh, the same, if not more, of a crop. The major part that I see is uh, when the uh, irrigation is, is more even. I'm getting water to places where I didn't get water before. The field was leveled too flat when it was leveled. So uh, I see a lot of advantage there with soybeans or corn. We're just growing more bushels over every acre. You can go out and walk in the field when you're irrigating it and you never get your shoes muddy. And so you're feeding the root system and it's not evaporating. You're losing absolutely nothing to evaporation. And any, any moisture that's lost to evaporation in western Kansas, you don't regain it. It goes back to eastern Kansas or Illinois and rains. <laughs> Drip systems also work well on hills, long runs, or oddly shaped fields. Well, you get up on a, like a tractor or something, you look out across the field, it's all this is nice and green and all the way across. Fertilizers can even be applied to the plant roots along with the water, eliminating the need for application by tractor. Well, I think it's a win-win for both water savings and, and nitrogen uh, with uh, the water quality issues, uh, it's going to help both, both of that. Drip operates at low pressure, which requires less fuel and labor costs are also low, resulting in even more savings. Furthermore, drip makes sense because farmers can get higher yields with less water. It was flood irrigation when we started and we were lucky to get to 100 to 140 just because we couldn't push the water through. The biggest well was 400 gallon a minute with long rows and now we can easily see 200 plus bushels to the acre on corn. Beans, um, anywhere from 60 up to 80 or 90. One year we were close to pushing the 100 mark. We had a couple checks on either end of, the te of a test plot here and it made from anywhere from 245 to 250. Some have harvested 300 bushel corn with only six inches of water. Drip fits well with reduced or no-till practices reducing compaction and creating a complete water conservation system. The Farm Bill supports drip by cost sharing of up to $450 per acre through the EQUIP program. This helps farmers pay for the system quickly, usually in less than three to five years, which is fast considering drip systems last far longer. In our typical situation, our first one, we paid for it in about two or three years, uh, just mainly from the bushel change. When we were going to 100, from 100 to 140, up to that uh, 200 bushel plus in corn. First, there is the drip tape, which is a seamless flat plastic tube with preset outlets that deliver water to the soil. The tape is injected below the planting bed on 60 inch centers, about 12 to 16 inches deep, depending on the soil type and farming practices. Classic drip tape works well on standard fields, while pressure compensating drip tape works best on long runs or hilly fields. Water gets to the drip tape lines through mains, submains, and flush mains. These pipes are made of rigid or flexible plastic pipe and are connected to the tape with fittings. The flush main pipe is very important since it allows flushing the system of dirt and debris with little effort. Pressure regulating valves regulate pressures to about 10 psi for irrigation and about 15 psi for flushing. Air and vacuum relief valves are installed where air must be allowed to enter and or exit the pipeline during startup, normal operations, and shutdown. Filters keep the drip irrigation water clean and help prevent the emitter outlets from clogging. When filters become dirty, they are flushed either manually or automatically. Chemical injectors are used to apply fertilizers, chlorine, acid, or even air along with the irrigation water. Approved backflow prevention devices prevent chemicals from accidentally entering the water source. Since drip systems don't require high pressure, 
existing farm pumps may often be used. High pressure pumps can be retrofitted with variable frequency drives to reduce energy use. Simple plant, soil, and weather monitoring tools allow the crop to be spoon-fed or manipulated, while standard maintenance practices ensure system integrity for many years to come. Toro pioneered drip irrigation in the 1970s, and with over 35 years of experience and expertise, Toro can help farmers achieve superior drip system performance. Today, Toro offers state-of-the-art Aquatrax drip tape. The yield increase was for a couple reasons. One was just the uniformity of the water. The bottom third of the field that hardly had any water run through it now had water. The fertigating right at tassel, I think, makes it a huge difference. It's a great option where you don't have that option with flood. Distinguished for its seamless construction, highly uniform clog-resistant emitters, and distinctive, easy-to-install blue stripe markings, Aquatrax is a proven and superior product for effective drip irrigation. In the drip, you know, we get going in the, uh, in the spring, get it set, and it usually takes care of itself pretty good after that. The durability and longevity of Aquatrax helps farmers reduce system cost and optimize performance. Our oldest drip irrigations have been in for 11 years. Um, we've had very little problems with um, clogging. Most of the stuff you can put acid through it and get it cleaned out and back to close to 100% again. I haven't had any problem with any of the drip tape uh, itself. Uh, it goes in the field, sets 15 inches under the grounds where we laid it. Gosh, I haven't had anything go wrong there. It's all backed by Toro, an American company founded nearly 100 years ago with roots in high quality, durable equipment trusted throughout the world. Drip irrigation is a proven technology that's worked for other growers and can work for you too. Be a leader and make the change. Contact your local dealer and ask for a custom design using state-of-the-art American-made equipment. If you plan ahead, significant cost share funding is available through the Equip program. You know, we've got, we've got to save water in the future. Uh, with government regulations, a lot of people are cracking down and if we can be ahead of the curve, we'll be better. There's a lot of land around here that would definitely benefit from drip irrigation. You know, you got to be willing to do changes and stuff, and so and I'm willing to change. I don't have a problem with that. So why wait? Get a quote and get ahead. For more information, visit Toro.com today and begin investing in your business for tomorrow.